Hey guys, it's Becky. I am back with another, with another process video. Today I am doing a layout that is for two challenges. One is a scrap lift challenge and you can see right there I have the original layout up in the top right hand corner. That is a page by Deanna13 over at A Cherry on Top. The second challenge is the mood challenge and there were five things. You had to use craft, you had to stamp, even if it's just the date, that's fine. Something hoarded, mixed media, and twine. So for my craft, I'm using this craft cardstock as my background. I am gonna stamp the date. The hoarded bits, I'm using crepe paper. You guys know I love crepe paper. And actually my crepe paper has its own iris containers. That's where all the crepe paper goes. So I did pull out those iris containers to do this layout. And since I had that out, I think I'd do another one as well while it's still out. I might secretly, I might pull it back out and do some more. I love crepe paper. I don't know what it is. I don't know what collections these papers come from. I think I did kind of show them at the screen, but I flashed by so quickly you might not have been able to read it. Here's where I'm going to go ahead and use this paper as the strip that goes down the right hand side. You can see in this in the uh, original layout, it's a little bit shorter than the length of the paper, so I did trim it down a little bit. I'm going to use this as the border that has the scalloped bits. I will pull out my scallop punch as well and go ahead and make it into a scallop. The punch that I use, I don't even know who it's by. On the top of it, it just says a border punch. And on the side, it has an X with like a swirly do going around it. I don't know whose logo that is. So who knows? I don't even, I'm not even 100% sure where I got this from. So that is going to serve as my little scallop bit. It's going to go on the right hand side underneath that cream paper with the turquoise dots on it right like that this is a denim paper it's really cool I mean it's not denim texture it's actually paper paper but it looks like denim like a dark denim I like that a lot it's really pretty I thought that worked really well with this navy floral paper it's really cute so these photos are of the car on the right is my old car and the car on the left is my new car and I say I have a type because I traded in a RAV4 for a newer RAV4. This is my third RAV4, not in a row. I had a RAV, then a, a Toyota Solera, then a RAV, and now a RAV. But it's my fourth RAV, and then it's also the third car in a row that I have gotten that is like a deep blue or greenish, you know, kind of the combination depending on how you look at it. The one I traded in is that top photo. You can see it's a little bit more green, but the new one is it looks a little bit more blue. The color is called Galactic Aqua. My goal was to keep my older car for like 10 years and I didn't quite make it. I went eight years and nine months. So I still had it a pretty good chunk of time. So again, on this newer car that I have, I'm going to try to keep it eight to 10 years. I'm not going to say 10 years. I'm going to say eight to 10 years. So we'll see what happens. I am going to ink all the edges with this vintage photo distract distress oxide ink. And that's also what I'm going to use for the mixed media portion. Now y'all, I used to dabble in mixed media a little bit every now and then. But I just, here lately, by lately I mean the past year, I just don't feel like it. You know, I have the stuff, but I just, I don't, I don't feel like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to smush it on this packaging and just add a little bit of water and smush it down. Now you, in the end, you can't hardly even tell that's on there, which is fine by me because I don't care too much about the mixed media portion of scrapbooking these days. Now that's not to say I'm not going to get back into it someday. I just, right now that's not what hold, holds my interest. So that's not what I'm going to do. Even if maybe that's what you want to see. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and commit to these. What I do end up doing is trimming down that craft card stock and putting a border around the whole um, bit. I'll let you guess what it is. Yeah, diagonal stripe. Of course it's a diagonal stripe. That's my favorite. That's my favorite border is the diagonal stripe border. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be using for the border of this. I didn't gut it because I have so much crepe paper 
I did not even get it. The other side of it is just like um, strips with tabs on it, and I it didn't really interest me. This the diagonal bit is the bit that interested me. Now you can see she had one photo, but I did choose to add three. I like the configuration that I made with the photos. I think that's pretty cool. Right here I put in some navy ink on this acrylic block and just adding water and kind of splashing it around the page. It does zero. I mean, it does very little for the page. You can kind of see the blue once it's dry, but not really. It was just kind of a waste of time. I was just trying it out. It's a Kelly Perky ink, and this is the one I've had for a long time. I did find it, yay. And it was missing for a minute, but I did find it. But it's starting to get a little bit dry. So I think it m might have went missing for way too long because <laughs> it's starting to get a little bit dry. I am going to need to put that on my list just to pick up a new Kelly Perky ink. So I am going to be using these navy thickers. These are part of the Paige Evans thicker pack that has the white on one side, navy on the other. The bottom photo I am putting 2018 and on the top photo I put 2009 and then I have to pull up the 9 because no that's not right. It was a 2010 RAV4. I'm also going to be using those same thickers as my title and I spell out I have a with the navy blue and then I pull in these very interesting wonky brown ones. Let me see. I think I still have them on my desk. I do. They are called jewelry box. They're they're really interesting. Um, but that's what I use to spell out type right here. So it says I have a type. Who knew, right? I do. I have a type. I love Toyotas, guys. And here's the thing. This is why. When my son was little, I had a lot of different kinds of cars. And I was stuck on the side of the road with an infant and or toddler and or small child a lot. When I got my first Toyota, never. And I just stuck with it. I had a Toyota when I was a teenager and it never broke down on me either. And that's what made me think, I'm going to get a Toyota. So I did. I got a cheap one. Way back, it was like um, Toyota Echo. They don't even make them anymore. It's the very bottom of the line. It's probably kind of like what a Toyota Yaris is now. Just a really small car that, you know, poor people like single mothers can afford. <laughs> so that's that was my first brand new Toyota. And I haven't looked back since. So I did, I don't know if you saw, I had washi tapes on here. I've been having camera issues, which I've talked about before. The battery just dies really quickly. I, I don't know. I have to find my way around it. Anyways, I put these washi tapes around the page and that's was signifying to myself so I wouldn't have to think where I wanted my clusters at. That's what that was about. I did just pull them up and I ended up going with the floor, going the floral Maggie Holmes route and putting just three different flowers down around the page. I did find this little ephemera piece and it says sold on it and I was like, well, that's perfect. So I'm looking for a place to put that down. It's not gonna go where it's at right now. I am gonna tuck it under that bottom flower. It's gonna take me a minute to get there. I will pull out some twine because again, the challenge, it did call for some twine. So I did pull out this cream color twine, which actually was not twine, it was crochet thread. We're calling it twine. And I loop that around it. I did put some foam tape on the corners of that tag to give it a little bit of lift when it does get down here. This piece right here I originally had in my layout and then I couldn't find it. So I did have to search around for it. It got messed in the adventurous disaster on my desk. But I did find it and I did tuck it back down over there. It's kind of similar to the strip on the right, but that strip is like... Um, diamond shapes that are dotted. This one that I put down is kind of a creamy color and it has plus signs on it with the same teal color. So I am going to add a pair of glasses right here and I just thought they were cute and I wear glasses. So there you go. I'm going to stick them right down there. Now that left hand side of that flower, I will go back and put a little foam tape under that so it kind of pops up a little bit as well. These right here are some little gold flat sticker hearts that I'm going to sprinkle around the page. I do put three down, each of them near each of those clusters. I will pull out these puffy stickers as well, and I will pull off four. Actually, the flat stickers, I do put another extra one. I put a fourth one right there near my title where it says I have. And anyways, I'm going to pull out those puffy stickers you can see laying right there to the right-hand side, and I'm going to put around... 
a few of those two in the same cluster areas and also by the title right there was where I cut a piece of the foam tape and stuck it under the the flower what made me think to do that was because I had laid the flower down it wasn't really sticking on there because that's where that mixed media was that you can't hardly see it's there but it wouldn't it wasn't uh, the sticker wouldn't lay down flat onto it because I had that ink on there so I just went ahead and stuck some foam tape under there here's where I'm gonna go ahead and commit to all those puffy stickers like I said I do put one in each spot plus by the title I'm using this art glitter glue glue adhesive to put them down again because of the mixed media part that I have I want to just, just went ahead and use that all right all the way around the page after I do that I will pull out the Heidi swap color shine in tea and give that a splatter around also doesn't have a big effect you can see some shimmery dots I did let some get on the photos and I also let some of that blue ink get on the photos which I kind of like it's just a preference thing I guess these photos weren't like people's faces or anything like that so it didn't really matter to me and I and I just like that effect so I let it happen all right guys after I do that I don't do anything else to this layout I want to thank you so much for joining me please like comment and subscribe and I will see you next time bye guys